neither can I, but um, Mandy, you can you can look after that. Go if you could all just realise I've been blocked for two weeks on YouTube, you can now find me on MeWe, and I am going to put that in here, Graham, because people need to know. Yeah, uh, um, I'm, are we are we ready to go? Everyone is everyone ready to go? Yep. Yep. yep okay. Can you start recording, Mandy? Yep, it's recording. G'day everyone, it's Karen Brewer here, Bush Telegraph with all the patriots across both sides of the ditch, here to give you all a two minute roundup of, of the networks that were made and friendships that were made in and around their local communities. As you know, I attended at ATS Square where there was over a thousand people. I literally met hundreds and hundreds of fabulous Kiwis and I have actually about seven and a half pages worth of phone numbers in an exercise book um, that I have now connected with all of those people and will continue to do going forward. All my Kiwi cousins, I urge you all, please enrol with the Aussie Patriots role. Moving forward, this is going to be an essential way for us all to communicate with us, with each other, that is not reliant on social media. Um, I have been now banned from YouTube for two weeks. You can find me on MeWe. These gatherings and movements are continuing. They are happening every weekend right around the country. It's important that you get enrolled on the Aussie Patriots role so that you are kept up to date with where these, like, where these gatherings are happening and that you make your these connections inside the community of which you live. I'm going to hand over now to Eilish, and Eilish will give you a brief roundup of what happened. We've got two minutes, Eilish. Go. Hi, how are you going, everyone? Well, I'm from Geelong, so um, I was down at the waterfront in Geelong, and there was actually two groups. Uh, some of us met up at the Ferris Wheel and played guitar and, and handed out brochures. Um, and handed out vaccine information and everything about how dangerous it is. Um, and we also met up near the um, the bird fountain just above the children's pool there, and that's where I was, under a tree there. And we did some lives there on Facebook. That's when I had a Facebook. I've, I've just had, since then, had my Facebook taken down. Um, and I, So, yeah, I'm in the club. The club. So I'm on, I'm on Gab as Eilish Diavolon. You can look me up there. You can also, um, if, if we're going to meet, we're meeting up every Wednesday in Geelong, Wednesday morning. So stay in touch with me. We're going to be handing out lots of leaflets on the dangers of vaccines and all, you know, whatever we're into. Um, and, and I know I've, I'm on a time limit. So I just wanted to say that, um, we're also doing a bit of a, cl a class action here. The class action is free. Anyone in anywhere can join. Um, over 7,500 people have joined and signed so far. Um, this is for the Make Australia Healthy Again .org group. And, and we, we, we give out great big brochures on vaccine ingredients and how dangerous it is and how we shouldn't have it. And, and we also are doing letterbox drops and... Um, gorilla like put, like stealth putting them on windshields at, at the beach on the waterfront um and we're meeting awesome, every, yeah awesome. and we're meeting every wednesday um morning um i think it's about 11 a.m I'll, I'll you know get back to me if you want to get in touch with anything that's happening in geelong um jeff's also in geelong um and and you can reach me in geelong as well um my okay, phone thanks, number my phone number is 0410 Thank you. And people can find you on MeWe as well? Yeah, and yep. are you MeWe and Gab. And, um, yeah, so because I've just been deplatformed as well. So, um, yes. Yeah, so We're the elite club. Once you've yeah. been removed from Facebook, <laughs> you know you're hovering over the truth. <laughs> okay, we'll go to Jeff O'Toole now. Jeff O'Toole from We Are Change Melbourne. Jeff, can you give us the roundup, please, of what happens at Luna Park? I most certainly can, and delighted to be a part of this broadcast. It was a wonderful success on January the 9th. We had a dynamic list of speakers. The information was very much well received. 
I delivered a speech. Everybody was happy. The vibes were all radiating positivity. It was great seeing people come together and network. The more they crack down with censorship and remove people from Facebook and YouTube, gatherings and events like this will be vital to provide a platform and have an audience to speak to and deliver this message uncensored is critical in these treacherous times. Now, overcoming some of the propaganda that the how many mainstream people, media... How many people, sorry, Jeff, how many people were at the Lunar Park? Because the video looked like there was a couple of hundred. That's exactly what I would be projecting those type of figures. A couple of hundred people that were very enthusiastic about receiving the information, dedicated to seeking truth and yeah, getting answers from this corrupt government. So there was a Excellent. meet and greet that took place afterwards and so much admiration and respect. It was wonderful. A lot of recognition went out to people that have put themselves on the line fighting for freedom. So it was absolutely one of the best rallies that I've attended. The weather was great and all positive news to report back. I would love to see much more successful events like this in future and having the Aussie Patriots role will provide a way of facilitating that. So it's wonderful to be a part of this powerful team. And this is the thing, it's about connecting people, all people. So it doesn't matter what the issue is. This is about bringing all people together so that you realise you're not, you're not alone. Many exactly. people are out there and they think that they're the only one that thinks this way. Well, no, there's a park near you. And uh, this, is a great, this is a great platform to come together and learn and make friendships. You will make friendships, I know that. Um, I'll just give you the brief roundup of Newcastle. Scott Hodgkins, Hodgkins from Newcastle, uh, he thought he was the only person in Newcastle. He decided to stand in um, Spears Park. Well, he's made 50 new friends. They today, uh, Yesterday, I know they've gathered together again for Arts and Craft Day because they're designing their T-shirts. Um, there was a barbecue and wine. Um, Scott is, has been amazed at how many people came together for Newcastle. Many friendships were made and they will be gathering again on a weekly basis. Um, I also had the roundup from, um, I'll come back to that, sorry, I'll come back to that, I'll do one at a time. Uh, Donna is here from Adelaide. Donna, would you like to give um, everyone the update? Hang on a second. You, you needed to you need to unmute. You're muted. Where is she? Hi, I'm here. How are you going? Uh, hi. Okay. Could you tell everyone what happened in Adelaide? That'd be great. And how many people were there? Yeah, Adelaide, we met up near the War Memorial. It was a, it was a great meeting, actually. Uh, I went live with Facebook and Tim did the, I mean, um, Nick did the filming with that. We had a lot of people up there from Common Law Court and um, we also had a, a speaker up there, uh, Tim Dwyer, and he was talking about the action that he's been taking against the uh, government. So, uh, yeah, it was a good community there. Actually made a, a really good link with... Um, now an ongoing friendship and, and um, uh, another person who's been coming to Common Law Court with uh, really high skills, psychology, psychology, lawyer skills. So that's been really great to link with him. A few key people that we met at this particular march, but at the Common Law Court here in um, South Australia, we get together every weekend and have our own sort of open floor talk about what we sort of learnt this week, what we're doing. We've got garden groups together, we've got community groups together that are sort of moving forward with home projects and stuff like that to really become resourceful in our own community. So we're sort of doing this every weekend and then for us to go in like about once a month to do an outreach kind of like that and just have all, all new people come on board. So yeah, it's really good. So we've got like 60 people or so that come through every weekend here. And um, well, if you're in Adelaide, if you're in Adelaide, get in touch with Donna. Oh, please do, yeah. We've got, things um, are happening like, in Adelaide. Yeah, CLC SA on Telegram. We've got um, a Common Law Court SA Facebook. So, yeah, come and link in with us because we're down at Lonsdale. And it is, it's kind of like a protest when you... Yeah, yeah every, 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 every And it's really important, people, if you're sitting there watching this, 
all of us here, we're all average Joes and we're trying to connect with you. We're mm. doing the best we can to try and connect with you. So please come when we pull out the call really that really we're really going to meet somewhere, please. Do you know what is that Peter Horton's group? Weekend. We have a I, lunch every weekend from 12 to 1 to get to meet and greet everyone and chat and talk about everyone's on the same page. The people are finding it. They're coming here and they're really finding people they can talk to and debrief the way they never have been able to before. And so you know, we're really having that real like-minded group come together. It's it's quite quite um, so, magical, actually. No worries. So if you're in Adelaide, you need to get in touch with Donna, people. It's all happening in Adelaide. Donna, now we're going to go just... to Linda Honey. Um, Linda's you. from the Central Coast Mob. Um, how are you doing, Linda? All right. Hi, everyone. Great to be here. Um, we I went down to Sydney, standing um, the Freedom Rally last week. Did made a lot of connections. Spoke to Brady as well. Um, had a good chat to him. A lot of networking. We came away with some great ideas. We just did a meeting yesterday on the Central Coast. And um, we were brainstorming. We've got flyers now that we're handing out. Um, I've been leaving them um, even on restaurants, you know, where they've got the salt and pepper shakers. I was handing some out at Coles and I've done a lot of letterbox drops. I took a whole stack yesterday and everybody's happy to give them out. And Linda, um, the, the Central Coast group, that meets at Terrigal, doesn't it, every Sunday? Well, we've got two meetings going. We've okay, got where are the locations? Uh, one of them is near Wyong at the moment. We're holding it in somebody's house. That's where right. we get for people that want boots on the ground that we're going to make up labels. We're going to make up um, banners and everything. Aside and from where flies. does the other group meet? And we're doing stand in the park every Tuesday on a Sunday from 10 till 11. We had our first one today. We had 15 people turn up. We had a young mum. And what park, had, sorry, just to get Linda, what park was that? It's at the Haven at Terrigal and it's the in, Haven an oval, Terrigal. in an oval there. Uh -huh. And I'll be there when I can on Sundays with a, a yellow T-shirt, my Freedom T-shirt, and I'll have a blue, royal blue hat. So, And how many you know, people did you have there today? We had 15, which was fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Lots of networking. I've just signed up with Aussie Patriots. I'm, if anybody wants to find me, I'm on um, Telegram. I've only just signed up, so I've got to, you know, get familiar with those programs because I've been banned in the last week and been in Facebook jail. So um, <laughs> we really need this. I just want to encourage everybody, um, let's get together for unity. We're standing up for freedom. We've got to get these evil tyrants out of power in our country. So just, you know, young mum we had today. Your, come together at local level. Absolutely. Exactly. So it depends so how Linda we Honey. That's Linda Honey. You can find her on Facebook, although she's banned at the moment. Oh, no, back on at the moment. So oh, are you? <laughs> at the moment. Um, we are the 99%. <coughs> that's that's my banner on there. Yeah. So. Okay. And now we'll go to Andrew from the Sunshine Coast. Andrew, can you tell us what went down at Caloundra? Yeah, it was uh, actually it was really good and surprising. Um, thank you for having me tonight. It's brilliant. Um, it was pouring with rain. We met out in the open. And we had about 60 or 70 people rock up. And it was the first time that we had ever, because wow. of Aussie Patriots, um, brought anybody together. So that, that wow. was... Wow, that's um, awesome. And we did all that in a week. In a week, which was... Mm -hmm. um, we had no initial speakers. So we all spoke, milled around. People um, coming together. There were four of us that um, stood in front of the group express thoughts and that sort of thing. And then we moved across to the music, museum, which will probably, I would say, be where we will meet right. um, every Saturday. Um, if there is to be a change to the Sunday, I'll certainly let the Aussie Patriots know. Um, but I would say it will probably be Saturday at this stage. One of the things that we found, which is typical of the sunny coast, we had a lot of people who were interested who would walk up and say, who are you? What are you doing? And that was where we got most of our information across. Um, there were small flyers that were given out, but um, it was that that contact which was brilliant. We actually had 
um, one of the local restaurant owners, owners come across and ask what we were doing. And it turns out that he is um, a virologist. So we had a really good chat about the virus. See, mm -hmm. people, see um, what happens when you decide to go to the park? You're going to meet fabulous people inside your community. Yes. And they want to meet you too. And friendships will be formed. This is exactly. about communities coming exactly. together. His Thank opinion you, Andrew. is very different to us, but it was still worthy. It was brilliant. Yeah, that's Andrew at Caloundra, guys. Andrew, Andrew wants to make new friends too. So get on down to meet Andrew if you're in the Caloundra. How okay. many people, Andrew? Um, between 60 and 70. Wow, that's brilliant, mate. That's and awesome. that was for the first time, you know, just being pulled together in a week. Uh, yep. it, was, it was excellent. It was really, really was good. Yep. Yeah, and excellent. it's really important going forward because um, I, I believe, I personally believe that all social media is going to continue to be heavily vetted. And I think yep. it's also very important that we get enrolled on the Aussie Patriots role because going forward, this is going to be a brilliant way to keep connection with those inside your community and, of course, the wider community as well. <laughs> if you're a New Zealander, this is for you as well. There are over half a million New Zealanders living in Australia. The Aussie Patriots role is for you as well. Please enrol in the Aussie Patriots role. And, and also, this is also a call out to all our cousins in New Zealand as well. Please enrol with the Aussie Patriots role. I am being sort of the facilitator of connecting you all inside your community. This was rather unexpected, as Graham said, that New Zealanders would be signing on, but we are stepping up to more than Maria. Um, exactly more than Maria and Anzacs have always stood together. We always yeah. do. Yeah. Right now, yeah. I'd like to go to Sandy. Sandy Riley, tell everyone where you're from, Sandy, and how many you had at your <laughs> gathering. Okay. Um, yeah, so we were in Frankston. Um, in a, oh goodness, I've blanked out for a moment. Um, we were in Frankston at uh, Jubilee Park and we actually started meeting there last November and if, we meet there every Saturday and we've had yeah. like three people or seven people, 15 people one day, that was our best effort and then nobody much over Christmas. And then we got, I got contacted by Aussie Patriots role. Oh, my goodness. And Karen, oh, my goodness, what a difference it made. And mm -hmm. so like, that weekend we got 50 people, 45 to 50 people. Sure. And we didn't have any main speakers. Don't we didn't meet, them. We did meet and greet. We got to know each other. It was lovely. We interesting thing though, um, everybody was quite happy to put down their names and um, yep. phone numbers and uh, details. But what uh, towards the end, one guy came up to me and said, "Oh, could I have a copy of of those names and addresses, please?" And I said, "Oh no, look, I'm terribly sorry, but um, our friend Faye's taken it. She's got the book. She's." gone home already and afterwards we started talking about it and we're thinking hang on a minute who is this guy yeah coming uh -huh. out of the blue is, that, that's know? the thing the exchanging of phone numbers has to be between the people in a yes. sense when i went to atia square i took um an exercise book with me i actually spoke at atia square um, yep. but i just took an exercise book with me and i just said to people I've got an exercise book here. If if you write your phone number down, I will, in fact, be in touch with you. Well, I ended up with seven and a half pages worth of phone numbers. And um, and so I, did, I have actually made contact with every one of those people. Um, I sent them a text message so that they had my details. I gave them my email. Um, and uh, I think um, my uh, YouTube account link as well. And, and over the next week, I will endeavour to call every one of them and we'll have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Some of them I have already because they called me when they got the text. These exchanges of people has to happen one-on-one -on -one between each of you. This is about building community friendships inside the electorate, uh, the, the areas and districts of which you live because that's Absolutely. going to be so very important going forward. 
Thank you, Sandy. And and you'll be there again this Saturday at Frankston. Absolutely. We'll be and there. We'll be Frankston. singing, dancing and having a great time. If you're in Frankston, <laughs> you need to get down there and party with Sandy uh, because Sandy yeah. likes to sing and dance because we don't comply with stupid rules but made yes. down by stupid people like Gladys Berlajiklian. You know, we <laughs> sing and we dance. Now we'd like to come over to Kim. Kim, can you give us tell everyone where you are and the roundup of what happened last Saturday? Okay, this is Nigel, because I'm Kim's husband, and Kim oh. was actually travelling. That's all right, Karen. Kim was actually travelling last Saturday. So uh, I'm part of uh, the Perth group with uh, Mandy, so I won't steal all of Mandy's thunder. Um, but we had about 150 people in the middle of the main uh, square in the centre of Perth. Did you hear that? 150? Say, yeah. One of our Kiwi friends who's living in Perth, she did very similar to you, Karen. She filled an exercise book with names of people we've not met before. So what they're going to do, they're going to go into our um, Slack app. So we know that Facebook is going to ban us, so we've got our own app. And then we keep in touch with people that way through the app. So we have a list of events. So if we've got common law courts, like there was one yesterday, that's events gone in there. And then I've uploaded all the stuff that came out of that this morning. Um, Excellent. So I want to and are you guys gathering before. again? Are you guys gathering again, Nigel? When do you gather? Oh, we, we've got all sorts of different groups linked together. So whether it's the 5G people, uh, common law courts, vaccines. So whenever they've got an event, we put it to our group of people, which I think Mandy will confirm is about 300 now. Yeah, yeah. Mandy's saying 300. She's looking up. She's in charge of membership. Um, no but I would say one of, one of the th best things we did do was um, at Christmas, we actually hired out a pub and we packed a pub full of people. We had so many people to that and we had loads of different groups. And That's I told excellent. everybody... Thank you very up. much, Nigel. So if you're in Perth, if you're in <laughs> Perth, you need to get on to the Aussie Patriots role and you need to connect with these people because they like to party and we love that. Okay, now I'm gonna. We're gonna go to Andrew Morrisby from Tasmania. Now I've got to tell you, folks, Andrew was one of the people that we rang through to from Aotea Square, and I have to tell you, all your our Kiwi cousins, Andrew, when they heard your Tasmanian accent, they went off. They <laughs> love Andrew. And so if you're in Tasmania, you need to connect with Andrew. So Andrew's going to give you the roundup now of what goes on in Tasmania. Where you go, Andrew? Yeah, to all the Kiwis out there. How are you going? Um, yeah, we had a cracker of a day down here in Tassie. I just want to show you is this first. Flags up there flying. Beautiful. Yeah, so I don't know, I'd say we probably had... Um, Probably 20 people turn up there, uh, a lot of late arrivers after we already finished the live stream, but we sat down, we uh, had a good yarn and shared a lot of stories and spoke a lot of truth, uh, shared information, phone numbers, and yeah, so it was a really awesome day. And just being organised from that Wednesday, um, yeah, we came back from holidays early just to get it sorted, so it was awesome. Awesome. And Andrew, Andrew does something every weekend, guys. Um, do you want to tell people what you do, Andrew, as a regular thing? Uh, I've been going to just any of the local cenotaphs, um, but we're going to try and uh, maybe take it up to Huonville and just keep it at Huonville. Um, and we'll say at 11 o'clock on Saturdays, uh, Huonville Cenotaph, and we'll just meet there under the red en ensign and um, have a yarn. We'll just talk go. about what what's going on in the world. So, yeah, come have a yarn with me. Join the Aussie Patriots role. And and Andrew, I've got to tell you, the Kiwi cousins just loved you. They want more and more of you. Um, Andrew does uh, regular drops of two, three-minute videos on Facebook, and they are words of wisdom. Oh, Linda, can you just mute yourself for a sec? I don't okay. know if I belong here and or not. I haven't been banned from Facebook yet. With everything that I've put up, I've never had a ban. So I don't know if I belong. <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> well, you know you've made it. Get there, don't worry. <laughs> you really know you've made it when you've when you've been completely removed. They're yeah, really I'm scared trying. of the truth, these people. 
<laughs> All right, now we're going to go to Brady Gunn from Stand in the Park at Hyde Park. Brady, can you give everyone a roundup of what happened last week and also what happened today? They can hear me. You know how much yes. computer trouble I've had. But yeah, no, it's a great day today. Uh, and credit to last week too, because we have, uh, you know, Karen, that I stood there for so long by myself. And after the call out to action last week, we had probably 150 people last week. Uh, 150, the... that's awesome. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, you got to, like, people have just got to understand the importance of the physical here because we're connecting on Facebook all the time. And it's great. I mean, I got yeah. to like we are, we have the rest of the world and all of the information in it in the palm of our hand. And that's great. And so it's actually underrated. But there comes a line with with the internet and 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 what and, and and smartphones where we need to connect in the physical. And the time is now. And so we need to connect in the physical. The people that have come down to that, uh, stand in the park in Sydney whether it was last week with 150 people or this week with 40 people or whether it was me just standing there by myself, we just have to connect with our physical truth, our, 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 our personal truth, to stand for Australian freedom or stand for personal freedom. And so, um, and so uh, last week was amazing. Last week was amazing. It was amazing. And so if, you're in, if you're in Sydney, if you're in Sydney, you need to be at Hyde Park on a Sunday. You've got to understand the importance of it because I, I didn't. When I started standing there, I didn't realise the importance of it. But uh, connecting in the physical, especially when you consider that we're being shut down and the net is about to disappear and the socials are prostitution at best, a prostitution at work. It's absolutely. I mean, it's a borrowed time at best. We need it's to absolutely connect. important we that we connect. make these connections. And it's ask absolutely anybody. important that you exchange phone numbers. Now, and that you guys, connect with people. Everybody that I'm like I'm listening to right now, it's it's so important to connect in the physical because that's the connections that we're making with the people who are making the most difference, who have got our backs. And that's what it's come Thanks. to. It's yeah. Thanks, Thanks Brady. And it's really very important. Our governments are going into overdrive to disassociate us from one another. And we cannot allow that to happen. We will not wear masks. We will not comply with social distancing. And we will not be silenced. They continue oh, to shadow ban and remove people from um, all sorts of social media platforms. And going forward, that sort of censorship is only going to get worse. So it's absolutely just essential. Me, and just to finish, we, ha we have to connect in the physical. We have to... Connect in the physical. We That's have to meet up. It doesn't matter what's your That's why it's important for people to people. get to the park. Yeah. So important. It's time. That's right. And yeah. it's important we build these network networks locally so, so that you can actually have people thank you. Thank that you do know. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. All right. And now we'll have I covered everybody I think I have so now we'll go to Graham oh no I haven't done Mary Jane sorry sorry we've got to do Mary Jane coming to you live from Canberra where things were going off down at the ACT Civic Square go ahead Mary Jane well look I'm quite used to being in Canberra the Canberra bubble being overlooked um frankly you know we haven't seen many of our politicians recently so that doesn't surprise me um so I just want to say since it all the, the proverbial hit the fan earlier this year um, I've been to about five of the rallies from the beginning. The first time I think there were five of us and we just stood and there. And how many did you have there on Saturday? Yeah, okay. So let me build it up and then build it out. So within a, with a week's, uh, week's notice, less than a week, we had 30 people. Now, that for Canberra, that's amazing. Ordinarily, they don't bother offering rallies in, or, you know, gatherings in Canberra because, quote, unquote, nobody turns up. Uh, the most we had was in one of the rallies was 300 people and that was with a huge amount of promotion. Wow. I'll tell you what, most of them were not from Canberra. Um, and I've got my little book here. Where's my little book? My little book, which has got names and addresses and numbers written down. Uh, we didn't, this time I chose, so I've been to five rallies. I ran three of them. 
the biggest one we had speakers and 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 uh, people getting up and open mic, people getting up to talk. I think like you had in Tasmania, that was a great model for Canberra. This time we just did it community. Uh, I didn't take anything. It was in front of the ACT Legislative Assembly as opposed to Federal Parliament House. Uh, we had 30 people turn up from anywhere from Jindabyne to Wagga Wagga, Adelong, Tumut, uh, Ben awesome. and McGuey. So we probably had five people from Canberra, including me. Everyone else was from country New South Wales. <laughs> now, I do want but to tell you, though, connections were made. regularly, and they had 40 people out of a town of 3,000. They've got 40 people meeting regularly. Mm, so when I get awesome. the next organiser, I'll share that along. But going forward, um, what we're, we're planning to do is meet uh, to time it with Stan in the Park in Sydney, because that's a great time for me personally. If I have to go 10 to 11 on a Sunday, we're going to stand in front of the Canberra Times Fountain in Civic, because my point of view about uh, these gatherings is that we want to be as inclusive as possible and be where people are. Mm -hmm. Nobody's standing in front of Federal Parliament House. So we're going to be standing in front of the <clears throat> Canberra Times Fountain, Civic, Canberra. So please come along. Um, where we do it, we're just doing it really informally. What I found this time was that uh, people just wanted to connect. They just wanted to yep, share exactly. what they'd heard what they're That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Thank you, Mary Jane. And now we're going to go to Amanda from Perth and she's going to, oh, we've done, I've done, did I do Amanda? No, I didn't. No, do not yet. No. Amanda, um, can you tell us? Nigel did speak a little bit about um, what happened in Perth. As he said, we met in the city. We had a very organic um, day there. We had some people sat in the shade and just connected with, with each other, met people that they hadn't met before. Um, spoke awesome. to people passing through. Some of us walked through the city malls handing out flyers and talking to people. Um, we do that uh, regularly in Perth. And um, one of the things we discussed was to next time try some <laughs> places Sorry. like local markets. So we'll be getting together and doing that. Um, yes, the, other thing, the other thing, Brady, can you mute yourself? Oh, yeah, hang on. Brady. Brady, can you mute yourself, please? The other thing, we are, we're quite social in Perth and we do have social gatherings. We've got a sundowner at one of the pubs on uh, Australia Day and we are in the process of organising an, a, a wine and cheese afternoon to do T-shirts like the ones that you showed on one of your lives just recently. So we're going to be doing that. But just as I, I just want to finish up and say for everybody, if you want to connect locally the best way to do that is to email uh, perthpatriots at protonmail.com and we will sign you up with the local state group. And within that platform, you can create your own group. So, for example, in um, this, I'm going to throw out some eastern states areas here, but if you're in Sydney, you can you can create your own little Newcastle cluster or your what else have you got over there um, in in Queensland? Yeah. yeah. And in WA, we will have a Margaret River one or a northern suburbs or southern suburbs. So that way you're, you're, in, you're in the state group, uh, but you've got your own little, it's called a channel. So you've got your own little channel. You get all your people in there. They've got the benefit of the entire platform for the state, but they've got their own little channel where they can jump in and, you know, type in, oh, let's meet it on such and such a date at time. So if you want to join that, your state group, just email perthpatriots at protonmail.com. Kim and I manage that email account and we will uh, join you to your local state group. But guys, that's how easy it is. You enrol with the Aussie Patriots and they will in fact put you in touch with other people inside your area. So very important going forward that we actually have these connections, that we have phone numbers and we actually know people in our area that we connect with. We are all united coming together in unity across all the communities of Australia with just a week notice. Anzacs on both sides of the ditch came together in the most extraordinary way. I'll just talk about Tweed Heads for a moment because I was talking to them earlier today, which was the other one that I couldn't remember. They had over 70 people at Tweed Heads and they are connecting on a regular basis every weekend um, and please keep an eye on the Aussie Patriots 
web page for updates and locations in regards to that. This has been an absolutely awesome two weeks. And to see these groups continually coming together this weekend and also planning the amount of people that have come together to do their T-shirts. And, and I have to say the feedback I've had about the pop-up, the pop-up rally ideas in local communities, it seems to me the larrikin in all Anzacs is still alive and well. As across the country, everyone has expressed to me the desire to connect with others in their local communities and all on board for the uh, the pop-up rally idea. So once you go to these events, you will meet people and you will exchange phone numbers and you will in fact build friendships. The idea of a pop-up rally is, in my in my world anyway, is that um, you would send out a text message to those people that you met and you might say something along the lines of, it's Karen here, I'm going to do my shopping at Woolies at this store at this time and I'll be wearing one of my T-shirts. And so the people that you met the weekend before, they might decide, I need to do groceries too. And so before you know it, all of a sudden, there's 15 or 20 people walking around the grocery store all in their one T-shirt, all telling, telling a story that hopefully engages others within the community to come together and have those conversations as well. And then those people might turn up at the park on either Saturday or Sunday. And that's how friendships are made. Um, Graham, um, I'd like to just, I'll hand over to Graham in a sec. Um, I'd just like to say again, the Aussie um, Patriots role is for all New Zealanders and Australians as well. Both sides of the ditch, we come together in unity. And as you all probably know, my particular area of interest is the suppression orders protecting pedophiles in our judiciary. And that setup actually affects both nations. If you're a Kiwi living in Australia, you need to enrol on the Aussie Patriots website. And if you are a New Zealander living in New Zealand, you also need to enrol on the Aussie Patriots website. This is how we are going to build local communities coming together in unity. Please be part of it. I'll throw over to you now, Graham. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for all you've done. You've, it's, it's, been a, it's been an interesting couple of weeks, isn't it? <laughs> just to say the least. I just want to read out to you the, where the, these events were so that everybody knows that there was a lot of them. A lot of people still haven't, um, we still haven't been able to reach yet. But let me just say that Melbourne at Luna Park, Newcastle, New South Wales, Darwin, Northern Territory, Caloundbury, Queensland, uh, Tassie, uh, Margaret River in Western Australia, Tweed Heads in New South Wales, Gold Coast in Queensland, Rockhampton, Queensland, w Wodonga in Victoria, Rockhampton, Queensland, sorry, that's a double. Uh, New South Wales, Windsor, Geelong in Victoria, Bendigo in Victoria, Coffs Harbour, New South Wales, Cardwell in Queensland, Ipswich in Queensland, Joondalup in Western Australia, the entrance in New South Wales, Muswell Brook in New South Wales, um, Cairns in Queensland, uh, did I say Darwin? I said Darwin, um, Yapoon in Queensland, Mackay in Queensland, Nabiak in New South Wales, Miami on the Gold Coast, um, and also in the Sunshine Coast. So that's just it. They're, there was an event in every one of those locations after just seven days of just a group of people like us, probably all of us, just telling people, go out into your community and talk to people. That's that's all it took. Now, I know we had a few detractors that said that we shouldn't be doing it because it's not enough time to organise it. To them, and I know what Karen would say, to them I say, poo we on you it. because, poo on you because... We don't need negativity. We get enough of that from the from the establishment. We don't need our own patriots telling us not to do things. We did it. And just so that you know, just in the numbers that, that new people have given tonight, it's just under 1,000 people. And altogether, we, we tell you, it's about 4,000 people. Now, Sorry, can I pretty... just interrupt you for one sec? I forgot, yeah. right? Now, um, 
the trick is the lady in the Northern Territory, and I spoke to her yesterday. She she was not really wanting to join on this one, but tricky. she's the one that was from, yeah, Tricky from Darwin, and um, she's a lovely lady, and uh, she put her hand up for Darwin, and she said, I'll be at this park, and she said, I don't know if anyone will come or whatever. Well, the update from Darwin was they had uh, 20, I think it was. They all exchanged phone numbers. They've all decided they're going to continue meeting up together. Um, yep. So add another 20 to that list, Graham, because Darwin turned it on. Yeah, I already had, I already had Tricky down there because she, she describes herself as somebody who, who's a bit shy. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. But anyway, <laughs> that's fine. You can describe yourself any way you like. The point is that she went out and she did it. She didn't know. We sent some people to her. And that's the beauty of having a central, um, a central point. When someone says to us, hey, we're going to have a, a meeting here, then we can, we can get that message out to people directly to them. And when the new website's built, it'll be a private message so that it won't have to go through social media. And that's what that's our aim, is to, is to remove our reliance on social media so we can yeah. get to people without any interference. Yeah. Okay? Now, um, we talked about community, and I just want to – I spent all the whole weekend on, on just – sending people here and there. So I didn't actually leave the, leave the house or throw the computer for, for quite a while. But it was such a good feeling to be able to, to people ringing me, sending me text messages, sending me, um, you know, Facebook messaging and all this sort of stuff saying, oh, uh, where, where is it in Caloundra? I can't find it. So I'm Googling and I'm sending map coordinates and I'm doing, it was, it was bloody brilliant. It's the best feeling I've had in the many, 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 many years I've been doing this. It was just a feeling of unity and I wasn't even there. So it, it was fantastic. And you've got to remember that people want to connect. And Brody, um, uh, Brody said it himself. It's the human contact that's, right. that's the thing. People will more likely um, connect with you and discuss things with you face-to-face. -face. Because on the other end of a Zoom, okay, we're lose, using a lot of technology and things like that, but you cannot replace that personal contact. And, Absolutely. and somebody and so said essential. before um, about oh, we didn't have any speakers. You are the speakers. Just tell people, what have you lost? What's been taken away from you? You don't have to have someone there that's a university-educated public speaker or anything like that. Just talk from the heart. That's what it's people want to hear. They don't want to hear a contrived speech or anything like that, even though you know when we do get asked to speak somewhere, we do prepare something because there's nothing worse than standing up there looking like a rabbit in the headlights. But the thing is that when you're in a community, they want to hear about things that you've lost, things that are, that are happening in, in, in and around you that they may not know about, and they'll tell you things that, that you might might not know, and that's what the community is about. Um, and, right. and with all the T-shirts that are being made with wine, I'm a little bit worried about some of the messages that are going to be on these T-shirts. So maybe maybe do the T-shirts again, have the wine. I don't know, just... just <laughs> We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait for next week. I'm looking forward to get a myriad of of, um, of photos from Scott in Newcastle because that yeah. group's going off. I'm oh, telling Scotty. you, um, yeah, and Scott, I believe a... they're still going to continue to meet in Spears Park. Um, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, Scott will be in touch with you this week so that that yeah. can get up. I've, on the I've actually, and, yeah, I spoke to him yesterday. Look, there are some stuff. absolutely brilliant people um, that are coming out. Because now they're coming out because they didn't know what they could do. They didn't feel like they could do it or they just didn't know what to do. And now they were given thanks, thanks to, for the most part to you, Karen, for giving us this, this, this idea of community. I mean, everyone's run with it. And it's, it's, it's been an absolute fantastic success. And it's only forward and upward from here. That's, that's exactly that's it. Like we are a today. community united. We are coming together on a weekly yeah. basis in most locations across Australia and 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 indeed New Zealand going forward. Um, uh, you guys there. need to get onto the Aussie Patriots role. You need to get registered. It is the first step in connecting with others inside your local community. You're going to make fabulous friends. You're going to make wonderful connections. And as our governments continue to ramp up on censorship, disassociation, masks, and that sort of behaviour, it's going to be more and more important ever than ever before that you have these friendships inside the local community where you live. Yes, Linda, one final yeah. word? Can I just say final word? Because you're talking about coming together and networking. What happened today 
Um, I sent you a video clip. It was a minute. And if I can work out if I'm able to upload it onto Aussie Patriots, I will. I met one of the women that heard about us, um, came to stand in the park. She was in that group that went to Westfields at Parramatta. And awesome. they marched through the centre. They were very vocal. I can't even remember. I think they were singing as well. She was telling me today, and I'm getting in contact with her. I've got her details. Told her about Aussie Patriots. But Crazy Joe, if anyone knows of him, he's in um, some, I forget what he's called now, something army. And he's been very, very vocal. But she said you could see all the levels. People were standing all around. They had hundreds of people watching them. So they really got a message out there. So Save the world we're going to have them coming on board. What was it called? Save, Save the, the world army. That's it. Joe, Save the Joe world Mikhail. army. That's it. Yeah. And you see, yeah, you see yeah, Anzacs. Yeah. This is what happens when Anzacs come together. World Around the world, we are known for our larrikinism. The more our governments try to oppress us, if that's at all possible, given the situation we're facing right now, as all Anzacs will become creative. Everyone seems to love the idea of the pop-up protest or the prop-up rally mm -hmm. inside your local community. I'm urging you all, please become involved in it. We are a wonderful bunch of people coming together on a weekly basis right across Australia. And we do want to make friendships with you. And we do want to connect with you. So please get onto the Aussie Patriots role so that these can... That the, the beauty of this Aussie Patriots role is they will help you connect with the people inside your local community. And that's the first step. So get on there. Inside that platform, you'll also find there is a, uh, a sort of a social platform, a bit like Facebook, and I actually discovered it last night and I had an absolute ball. Already got Senator Heffernan's speech up there and the copy of the hand suds. It was really user-friendly, sort of like Facebook, but user-friendly and private. I would urge my fellow Anzacs, please continue to gather every week. We're going to have a ball, and I can tell you now, I'm looking forward to seeing all the lives that come out of these because I think there's a good deal of larrikinism that's going to happen. It's quite possible. It's really possible and not only possible, I'm telling you, it is going to happen. Justice will be served. But uh, Anzacs will do it with you. The, the new website will be hopefully be finished within a couple of weeks. Um, it will be so interactive that it that it will be as good as, if it won't have any ads or anything like that on it, but it be as good as, as the live chat that you currently have on, on social media. Mm, that's so that's excellent. how that's how good it'll be. Guys, I can't stress this enough. We we are coming together as a united community. Please enrol with the Aussie Patriots role. If you are an Australian or a New Zealander, please enrol. This is for all of us, both sides of the ditch. We are united communities coming together. Just a quick reminder. I've been banned from YouTube for two weeks, so you'll have to look for me on MeWe. I want to thank each and every one of my fellow Australians that came together on such short notice when, um, when Billy Tikahika decided that he would gather to the people of New Zealand in Aetia Square on the 9th, given the seriousness of the situation unfolding almost mm -hmm. hourly. And so we came together, I said, I'll see if we can get things happening in Australia. Well, Australia, you really turned it on right around the country. I couldn't be more proud of my fellow Australians. It moved the soul. I would also like to say, please be mindful. Our two countries are linked beyond, um, like they are linked intrinsically forever and ever and ever. And the ability not at being able to travel between our two countries freely should not ever occur, but it has occurred. And we can't allow that. Our countries share a common fano. There are many New Zealanders with family living in Australia and friends as there are many Australians with family and friends living in New Zealand. Whoever imagined that Anzacs would not be able to travel freely between our countries. That should not be allowed, nor should we be dictated to that we have to be jabbed to travel. And I'll tell you why. 
Our politicians cover up for pedophiles. It's well documented for 40 years. You'll find it in the Hansard. Senator Bill Heffernan gave the most powerful speech that's ever likely to be said in the Australian Federal Parliament on the 20th of October 2015. And this is the line in the sand. When our politicians cover up for pedophiles, well documented, they have no credibility. We do not comply with rules or regulations handed to us by pedophile protecting politicians and that's all of them. Suppression orders are wrong. This comes down to a matter of credibility. People like Gladys Berlajiklian, who's asking you to wear masks. She has no credibility. She covers up for pedophiles. People like Dan Andrews, who's trying to restrict the borders in our country. Well, not trying to, he is. You have no business complying with somebody like Dan Andrews. And I would refer you again to the Hansard. This comes down to the measure of the man. And I mean mankind. This is the line in the sand for me. We do not comply with rules or regulations handed to us by pedophile protecting politicians and that's all of them. I wanna thank all of my fellow Australians. The effort that was put across the nation has just been so heartwarming and let's continue. Let's be there every weekend. Let's keep it moving people and together we will overcome. Bye, folks. Have a great evening. Well, well, and I look forward to seeing all your videos of next weekend, guys. Let's turn it on and keep going. This is a freight train and we ain't stopping, but justice will be served. It Bye, will. folks. That's right. Bye. 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 Bye.